Alright, what up you two? This is little Sasuke4 here, and I'm here to bring you a tutorial on how to set up Project 64, which is a computer emulation program to play Nintendo 64 games on your computer. And what you're going to want to do is head over to the Mediafire link, I put it in the description down below, and download N64 uh, Setup Package Zip, and when you do that, you're going to end up like a zip file like this and when you extract it it's going to turn out to end up be like this. You won't have any of this but the main thing you want is all this stuff down here and when you have it installed you'll have two main programs Project 64 and Project 64K. Uh, Project 64 is just the regular emulator and Project 64K is the one that has Netplay which is the multiplayer service so then once you do that, you want to make a ROMs folder. And what the ROMs are, are all the different games uh, you can play. And for my ROMs, I like to go to coolrom.com. I'll put a description, or sorry, a link in the description. As you can see, I just downloaded Yoshi Story. And, and then once you make your ROM folder and put all your ROMs into the ROM folder, uh, you're going to want to open up Project 64K and choose your ROM directory which is the folder that's always going to be looked at by Project 64 as the one where you find all the games. It's like that and then ROMs and there we go. The list refresh so then we see our games and we can just open it up like this. It's me, Mario! Alright, then we'll end Hello. the... We'll end the emulation right there. And to set up your controls, we'll go to the controller plugin. Since I have an N6, or sorry, an Xbox controller, I'm going to tell you how to set that up. So, first you want to make sure your Xbox controller is connected, plugged in. And then we're going to go to a blank slate. And for the analog stick, uh, whoops, I'm going to have it set, plugged in. And then the uh, only problem with mine is it doesn't detect the. Uh, triggers or the right analog stick, but for the majority of the buttons, you can just use everything else. So uh, we just use the left analog stick for left analog stick. You just click a button, and you can just move it to the left, move it to the right, up, and down. Then for the A button, would be the A button on the Xbox controller. B, uh, the start button will be start on the Xbox. Left doesn't really have a function, so I just leave it at X. Right. Uh, right bumper will be right bumper Z button will be left bumper and for the C button I like to use the D-pad so left right up and down and you don't have to worry about the digital so that's what I have set up here except I used um, the number pad as extra but that doesn't matter so there you go okay and then we can go to startup netplay and at first, it'll take you to all the servers, but for right now, the servers aren't loading. So, the one that I like to play on is the Galaxy. You set up your username, and when you join a game or create one, all the people typically need to have this, or always need to have the same connection type. So, the most common types I see are LAN or Excellent. So, I like to choose LAN and connect to the Galaxy. And this server is mostly for people who like to play uh, Super Smash Brothers. And you can organize it by game, uh, version of emulator, who is uh, starting the lobby, and the status, and the amount of users that are in. So to create a game, just go like that. And these are all based on the ROMs that are in your ROM directory. So I can host uh, Super Smash Brothers. And this chat is just for the overall chat. And this one is for the one that are people that are in your lobby. We'll just wait for someone to join. Okay, or maybe not. Maybe we'll join someone. Uh, waiting. Cool, we'll join. And cool, we got Lan. He has a bit more ping than me, but that just means he's going to lag more, so that's okay. Just going to tell him to start. Uh, he might be dead. 
Okay, we're gonna leave that. And we're just gonna try to create one one more time. Oh, no, 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 that's Super Mario 64. Uh, Super Smash Brothers. There we go. And there we go. Oof, 23 ping. Alright, let's start this up. So multiplayer, uh, we're just gonna make it a quick stock, three lives. Free for all! And I usually like to choose Leaf. Leaf! He's the best one. Oh, yeah. Alright, there we go. And I typically like to choose a large stage because the smaller stages are a lot cheaper. People like to spam. This guy might beat me. And I prefer a controller over a keyboard because you have all the controls like right there. Oh god, this is gonna be bad for the video because <laughs> I'm kinda distracted. Because I'm trying to go try hard on. Oh, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. Yes. Oh, no. Come on, come on, survive. You're real. Suck it. No, 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 I didn't want to throw my boom. No. Oh, gotta make him draw that theme song. Bomb go, that's okay. There we go. Ah! Oh. Oh, and if you guys didn't notice, the little U on Super Shinmo symbol on the bottom right hand side is an annotation to subscribe. So in case you didn't notice that, uh, go ahead and click subscribe in case you haven't. Because I mean, who doesn't like these videos? I know I do. Oh no, no! Yeah, come on, come on, come on. get me, man. Come get me. Ooh, didn't think I was gonna do that, did you? Not a chance. Recover, recover. Oh, my. Hooray! I lost. But now you guys get the gist of what, uh, how to set this up. If you guys ever want to play with me, uh, just shoot me a message over Skype right here. Here's my Skype name, Little Sasuke4. How clever. And that basically wraps up the tutorial. If you guys have any questions, you guys should put. Uh, your comments or concerns, questions down in the description down below. Don't forget the U over here is to hit the subscribe. 
please give this a like if you liked it because I know this was uh, quite informative to some people and I'm sorry that I lost the game but yeah um, I think this is it so peace